evening and welcome to Let's Worship, midweek time of worship in the presence of God. You're welcome. Quickly go ahead and share this broadcast. Let somebody know that we are live. Time to give God praise. I assure you today is going to be a day of transformation. God is set to do something awesome in this place. Quickly do well to share this broadcast. Let somebody know that we are live already. somebody know that we are live. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. I'll give us a few seconds to, um, to share the broadcast and then we'll begin worshiping. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining. God bless you. worship session, that as we worship God, we'll feel his presence, we'll see the evidence of his presence. So begin to give God praise, whatever you're trusting God for, I don't know what it is, uh, maybe you're seeking your body, maybe you're just believing God for something, just begin to say, God, as I worship you this evening, let there be a turnaround in my life, let there be a change, let there be a transformation, let me see the impossible becoming possible in my life, that as I worship you, as I bow before you, that as you do, you will do mind-blowing things. Yes, because he is an amazing God. Because he is an amazing God. Oh, he is an amazing God. Let's just begin to worship him. Let's worship God. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Bow down and worship. Bow down and worship Him. Worship Him. Oh, worship Him. Oh, yes, would you bow down and worship Him. Oh! 
We give it all to you. We give it all to you. We give it all to you. I bow my heart. Yeah, I give it all to you. Hey, I lay it before the throne. Oh, is it let us come boldly to the throne of grace? Oh, let us come boldly. Let us come boldly. We may obtain grace. We may obtain mercy. Oh, for time of need. Now is that time of need. Can we just come before him and bow down? And bow down. And bow down. Oh, Shande Kasai. Yes, Sekeria. Let any Musa. Sidan Kikasha. Leke Deria. Grandu Baha. Kedenikiti Anka Dibaha. Lindu Musikan. Deribe. Amazing God, 
Amazing God, you do mind-blowing things. Amazing God, you do mind-blowing things. Amazing God. You know what the Bible says in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 20? chapter is full of them mind-blowing things and the unconventional way in which God works. Now the Bible says in that scripture in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, the Bible says that you know the, 50, the, the people of God were surrounded. They were surrounded by enemies. The Bible says that they made war. The Moabites, the Ammonites, accompanied the Mionites, joined forces to make war against Jehoshaphat I don't know anybody who is watching me right now and it feels like, like as though all the knights Moabites Ammonites and all the ites are, are waging war against you just when you thought you couldn't get worse with your health you lost your job just when you thought the job you lost your house maybe you're just all the things are, around your life are just going at war against you Bible says and that Jehoshaphat called for the people of God and they began to praise and worship. Bible says in verse 23, 22 of 2 Chronicles chapter 20, Bible says that as soon as they started shouting and praising, God sent set ambushes against the men of Ammon, against the men of Moab and Mount Seir as they were attacking Judah. So it didn't God did not just deal with one area, he dealt with all of them. That is the God we serve. He does mind-blowing things. When you go to the doctor, the doctor doesn't deal with your housing problem. He only deals with the issue. Of your, in fact, if you go to see a doctor, a cardiologist, and you have a problem in your leg, they can only help you with your heart. They cannot help with your leg. They cannot help with other things. But we serve a God who is able to, he is, oh, he is a multifaceted God. He is able to do all of these things at the same time. Oh, he is omniscient. Oh, he is a God who has all power in his hands. He can fix your help. He can fix your job. He can fix your body. He can fix your family. He can fix your child. He can fix your marriage. Oh, God is a God who does mind-blowing things. The Bible says, and God did not just saw the Ammonites, he saw that the Moabites, he saw that the people that, that, that all the that other people who were waging war against the people of God. I pray over somebody who is watching me right now who will praise God and worship God selflessly. And as you begin to do so, God is setting ambushes in, in the camp of the enemy. God is setting you up for a miracle and causing your hell to come back. And God is doing an all miracle in your life God is doing an overhauling he doesn't just heal he's a God that makes whole he doesn't just deliver he's a God that makes whole that means that he blesses your finances he blesses your body he blesses your academics he blesses your marriage oh come on let's bless him let's bless the name of the Lord as a God that does mind-blowing things oh come on let's give God thanks as the one who does mind-blowing things who does mind-blowing things. He's an amazing God. Come on, lift up your hands wherever you are and worship him. Worship him, worship him. Oh, amazing God. Amazing God. Oh, say, you do mind-blowing things. Oh, you are amazing. Amazing. You do mind He's touching your home.
hard for God to step in. Oh, I, I, my situation ah, is beyond repair. Ah, ah, he's a God that comes through for us. He is a God that makes a way even in the wilderness. He is a God who makes a way even in the midst of a Red Sea. He is a God who will bring you out. Guess what? He comes through for us. He comes through every time. Yeah. Amazing God. Amazing God. Amazing God. You do mind blowing. Don't 
Oh, whatever the, um, whatever the thing that you are believing God for. Oh, just begin to lay them out at the feet of Jesus. Call on the amazing God to sort them out. Oh, he's an amazing God. Oh, he's an amazing God. He's an amazing God. And just like it did in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And wage the war in the camp of the enemies against those people who were waging war against the people of God. God sent a pushment in the camp of the enemies. That is what God is going to do for somebody tonight. He will send war in the camp of Bible City that they began to kill themselves. You came to kill somebody, but now God sent. The enemies changed. They became themselves. God is going to turn your enemies against themselves. Oh, and give you freedom and give you liberty. Oh, God is going to do it. Why? Because He is an amazing God. Yes, He's a God that does mind blowing things. Oh, He's a God that does mind blowing things. Because He's a God that does mind blowing things. Because He's a God that does mind blowing things. Scripture says, Has He said it? Will He not do it? Yes. He's able. He's able. 
filled your mind blow with this uh, amazing Voice is only you do mind blowing things amazing God you do mind blowing things amazing God again you do mind blowing things Amazing God, you do mind blowing things. Amazing God. Cause you're the mind, silver, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Oh, mighty warrior, you're great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Your mighty warrior.
hands or speaking in tongues, just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Oh, you know what? Your tongue confuses the enemy. Can we pray and send a pushman in the camp of the enemy? Because he's a God of fights our battles. Yeah. trusting God, maybe there are things not going right, guess what, God is fighting your battles, because he said he would do it, oh come on, he's fighting your battles, oh can you just leave it in the hands of God, He is fighting your battles, yes, he's in charge, he's in control, yes, yes,
right there at home, just begin to invite the one who is mighty in battle, or oh, the one who sorts out all your battles, and just comes to hand you the victory, yeah, oh, he's the victory giver, he's the victory giver, he sorts it all, and hands you the victory, it's mighty, undefeated champion, pray 
Jehovah. Oh, 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 oh,
end this broadcast calling the name of Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. Name above our name.
We adore you. We reverence your name. Quickly, I just want to pray for somebody who perhaps doesn't know the Lord. You're not yet saved and you want to surrender your heart to Jesus. See all the attributes of God that we've just talked about. You cannot benefit from it if you don't know God. And so you don't yet know the Lord. Can I pray for you? Can I invite you to surrender your heart to Jesus? When he comes into your life, he causes a change. And then you begin to have that relationship with him. Besides all the bread and butter that he has to offer, he secures your eternity. And so you want to say, God, I surrender. Probably you're religious and you know all these things, but you don't, you have not given your heart to Jesus. You've not allowed him into your heart 100%. Can I pray for you? Can I urge you to say, yes, I surrender my heart to Jesus. I want him to be my Lord and my Savior. Right now in your own words, tell him just what I have said, that God, I surrender to you. I want you to be, to, to, I want to be your, your child. I want Jesus to be my Lord and my Savior. Oh, that he will be my source and my sustainer. If all these wonderful things that Jesus can do, I need him in my life. On a personal note, and quickly pray the prayer. And in a minute, in a second, I'll lead you. Quickly, pray the prayer and say, God, I surrender my heart to you. I want you to come into my heart. Holy Spirit, that you guide me. You lead me from this day onward. In the name of Jesus. Quickly, those who want to say that prayer. Maybe you want to join them. You, you've lost your faith. You've lost your walk with God. And you want to re rededicate your heart to Jesus. Quickly, join them to pray as well. God, I, I, I come back to the place where I first met you. If you are giving your heart to Jesus, quickly say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I surrender my life to you at the cross. Jesus, I accept you into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Help me to live your ways. Spirit of God, come into my life. Teach me how to walk with God. Help me that I will not go astray. Lord, thank you that because of this decision, my name is now written in the book of life. I disconnect myself from every covenant with the devil, knowingly or unknowingly. Thank you, Jesus, for redemption, for salvation. I promise to serve you from now to the end of my days. In Jesus' name. Oh, if you've said that prayer, you're now born again. If you don't already attend the church, look for a Bible-believing church in your area where you can attend. If you are in the environs of Liverpool and the United Kingdom, feel free to worship with us at Glory Worship Church. You can check, check it out later on my, on my Facebook page, Blessing the Saga. If you're watching, please don't forget to share this broadcast with somebody on Facebook. It's also on YouTube. Feel free to send the link to somebody on your WhatsApp pages and all of that. It will be a blessing to somebody. Oh, yes. God will do mind-blowing things in your life. And if you're already beginning to see God do, doing mind-blowing things, please do not forget to send me a DM or via my, via my, my website, blessingosaga.com. I think I'm reachable via that because that goes straight to my email down on the social media platforms. I'm also on Instagram. I am Pastor B. On Facebook page, I am Pastor B. Um, Twitter, I am Pastor B. Um, and every other thing, YouTube and website is Blessing Osagai. God bless you. I hope you've been blessed. I will see you next week, Thursday, same time, 6 p.m. UK time. God bless you. Hallelujah. You are worthy of my praise. Abba, you are worthy of my praise. You are.
you alone.